Trish? Yeah. Look, you've got the panic alarm. Don't be afraid to use it. And you can call me any time. You gave her your number. Oh, don't You start. gave her your number. So what? Your personal yes, number. I what did. have I told she you? She needed it. Every time, Miller. Pardon me for being we human. We investigate support services support. Support services aren't there yet. Can't keep doing this. Once before. Twice before. Oh, are you keeping count? Yes! If I'm so annoying, why did you come back? Oh, don't stop. Always having a There's a protocol. I did not miss this, you know, when you weren't here. The constant berating. She can't be ringing you all the time. Jeez. You guys want anything to eat while you're here? Oh, no, we're fine. We need you on. Oh, seriously, though, please eat. I'm not hungry. That's why you're so tired. I'm not tired. You look terrible. Just leave me alone. Eat your stupid scotch egg. It's a scarily wide net right now. Oh, look at that. What? No. Come on. Hello? Yeah. Did you get a good night's sleep? No. You? I dreamt I was at Axhampton lying next to the waterfall. All right. You should probably go home in our early tonight. Wow. Was that you doing supportive boss? Yeah. No good. Awful. Oh my god. Fuck oh. off! Oh, shit! Mella! Oh, you scared Watch me! Watch where you're going, what where? What are you doing out? I'm walking home. What about from your cheeky deep? No. Oh, look at your face, you totally Shut are! Shut up, Mella! Is she nice? I'm walking Did home. Did you kiss her? I'm away. Were you anywhere near Axhampton Saturday night? No. Or the party that was going on at Axhampton House? As I wasn't in Axhampton, I wouldn't have been near the house, would I? Daniel Lawrence. Yeah, that's weird. People don't normally know my name. Well, not after ice cream. Well, speak for yourself. D.S. Miller, D.I. Hardy, Wessex, please. So we're left with people like um, Ian Winterman, ex-husband, bad relationship. Jim Atwood slept with her that morning. Might have been worried that his wife was going to find out at the party. So he rapes her, isn't he? That automatically follows. Look, I'm doing the list. You said to make a list. I'm not saying it's perfect. D.I. Hardy, I need to talk to you urgently outside. Would you even want? You know, see him in the middle of something? Yes, and do you not understand? I might have something important. I need to talk to you both oh, about no, something. Half of... But I should have told you a while back. Should have told us what? Ed Burnett's my dad. Tell me you're kidding. No. The man we have in custody. I didn't think it mattered. He's a suspect. But he hasn't. He been... was on your list. I know, but I checked with him at the start and he said that he didn't know my anything. God. Katie, do you know what you've done? You have to leave this office immediately. Do not touch anything. Do not take anything. Don't speak to anyone or contact anyone in any way. In fact, give me your mobile phone. Oh, really? Really? You understand how royally you might have screwed this investigation? Because if we find out that Trish's attacker has any connection to you, this will never stand up in court. And you will have to answer not only to me, not only to the chief super, but to the women that he's attacked. Get out now! Actually, I was starting not to mind you. That lack of training and that lack of experience is exactly what caused this. It was an innocent mistake. No, it was a stupid, basic, page one mistake. And you know, more than that, it was selfish. You wanted to believe you had nothing to do with it, and so you did. You know, the one thing a decent police officer, and certainly a decent detective, cannot be is selfish. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Anything else we should know? Now's the time. Might put you in charge of bulletins from now on, Mel. Fine, Bobby. All right? Yes. Mum, can we please just eat? Mm -hmm. Was that your phone? I didn't give you your phone back. Did you give him his phone back? No! How did you get your phone back? Give it here now! I'm locked! You don't have to look on there. I mean... Why? Why would you not want him to look on there? I've deleted everything from your phone. So you not only stole back your phone, you kept what I deleted and you added even more. Do you know how much that costs? Yeah, I do, and we can't afford to buy new ones. So from now on, there is no smartphone and you use the computer at the library. 
And can you see how that combined with the pictures suggests a man with an unhealthy obsessional interest in Trish? I'm not obsessed! Yeah, you are. You're basically an obsessive loser with a short fuse, aren't you, Ed? That's why you attacked Jim Hartwin, isn't it? Because he got a taste of what you've never managed. <laughs> Sit down, please. Let me go and see what records he keeps for breakdown customers while you interview Ed. All right, fine, just, just hurry up. Oi! Stay here. Dad! Police! Shut up! He's threatening us. No, son, I'm instructing you. Do you know what I do in my job, do you? I deal with murderers and brutal thugs and sex offenders, and I win. I get the better of them, so don't for a second imagine I will break a sweat getting you in line. I will find you, and I will cut your tiny little cocks off. You can't say that to us. You're the police. I'm a father. Right, piss off! See your ticket? Dad! You're staying here. Miller, I'm busy. Proper row. You seem much happier. What happened with Daisy? Tore up her ticket. You took my advice. No, I realise, Mama. What? I'm too nice to people. No, that that. Never works being nice. Done with it. Got them queuing up for you today, have you? There's another one waiting. Interview room two. <sighs> no, I'm not going to lie. I like a Dilf. A Dilf. A dad I'd like to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Got it. Thank you. <laughs> And now his alibi's blown. Where was he the rest of the evening? Well, it's still not enough to hold him. Let him go for now. We'll prioritise finding out where he was the rest of the night. Bloody hell, another sock found on the Axhampton estate confirmed as a match for Trish's DNA. Traces of her saliva. So it was used as a gag? More than that, there are traces of one of our men's DNA on the sock. Who? Where's Katie? No, 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 not a good idea. Why would she be calling at this time of night? Do not answer it. Katie? God's sake, ma. Can you get to Flinkham Farm Shop urgently? Well, we're heading somewhere else now. Well, I think we found the twine that was used to tie up Trish Winterman. Stop the car. No. You stopped the bloody car. I still enjoy those moments when some cocky bastard trashes their own alibi without realising it. We got the CCTV from the farm shop yet? Uh, 20 minutes, Nish nice said. Hey, come on. I'm getting rattled, Cage. <sighs> Thanks for this, I wish I still smoked. I knew you used to smoke. What's your instinct? You think that's finally the truth from him? Well, it could be. Or it could be a very clever get-out-of-jail-free card. Um, I wasn't. With a public footpath through it, you go down that footpath and it leads to this road here, which means... Got it. Go on. So this field links to that road, which has a parking nearby and a newly installed traffic camera. There he is. There's his car and there's his registration. Very good, Miller. You should do this for a living. Swaggery little shit. Hello, Danielle. Is Leo here? Oh, no, he's not, sorry. Oh, because we went to his house and his dad said he was here with you. And if he's not here, why is his phone ringing? Come on out, Leo! Statements and alibis. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! You okay? No. We have them now, that footage will send them down. <sighs> he is not what men are. He's an aberration. I hope so. I could do with a drink. Short one. We could go to the pub, we've never been to the pub. No. Ah. Huh. 
I should get back to Daisy. I should get back to my boys. So, you and Daisy then? You're going to stay properly now? You don't hate it that much? We'll see you tomorrow, Mella. Hmm. Fine. See you tomorrow.